Hey guys and welcome back to G's Autos. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I'm doing a review and test drive on a 2010 Camry Altis, which is the V40 series. Now this one here has the uh, 2AZFE 2.4 litre motor up front with the VVTI, which is the uh, variable valve timing. And this one also has the beautiful five-speed automatic behind it, which is a really nice gearbox, I must say. I've owned this car for about two years now. Um, originally purchased the car, had about 96,000 kilometers on it. And so far, it's only up to about 125,000 Ks. If you're looking for a car that's a really good stop, start, go uh, city driver, plus also is a really nice comfortable touring car. Honestly, I don't think you can go past one of these. It is really a beautiful car to drive. It's your, probably your mid-size um, large cars, uh, probably just under your, your Holden Commodores and your Port Falcons. Still offers heaps and heaps of room. Uh, like I said, a beautiful car to drive, it really is. I love driving this thing. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do is run through some of the features uh, of the car and then we're also going to do a walk around and have a look at the, the styling and the lines of the car. Now one of the benefits of having the 2.4 litre engine is it's not a six cylinder. So you're not paying those uh, high rego prices that you might do in some states depending on the size of the motor that you've got in your car. The 2.4 litre offers plenty of power. Uh, Heaps of, heaps of grunt, uh, nice quick pickup off the line, and it cruises on nice low revs when you're on the freeway. Uh, so that's nice, it's not screaming its head off. The five speed auto is super smooth, beautiful pickup, nice kick down, and uh, moves seamlessly through the rev range. has your four-wheel disc brakes, has your four-wheel disc brakes and ABS, just passing a tractor, yeah so it's got your uh, your four-wheel disc brakes, your ABS, it's got uh, two curtain airbags up front, two curtain airbags at the back and it's also got your driver and passenger seat airbags. The da look, I really like the way the dash is laid out, everything is there for the driver, okay? Uh, all your stereo controls are nice and close, your vent controls, your mirrors, uh, your central locking, your power window controls, all of that is, is it's just really nicely laid out for the driver. Even the way the, the center console for the where I can put my hand for the, um, for the gear controller, um, really, really nice. I've got, it's got a lot of uh, nice little, um, uh, I suppose you could compartments for storing stuff. There's a nice amount of those. And overall, it's just a very, very comfortable car to drive. It drives beautifully. The power steering is such a nice power steering in this one. Um, no oversteer, understeer. Perfect. Point it. That's where the car goes. Uh, it's got a nice feel to the suspension. It's got a nice mix there, whether you're, whether, you know, whether you're doing stop-start driving or uh, highway cruising, country driving. It is really nice. Is really nice through the corners, handles beautifully. I think off the top of my head, this one has uh, probably 195s or 205s all round. I will check that later on. And it, it handles the road beautifully. Apparently, the Sportivo version is a lot stiffer, uh, especially in the rear end. But I find that this car handles absolutely beautifully through corners. Uh, I, like I said, I just love driving this car. Beautiful and quiet on the road, uh, even when the roads aren't first class. Still a very quiet, cruisy ride. Zero wind noise. Beautiful. Another benefit of having the uh, smaller engine, which is the 2.4 litre four cylinder, 
is that it leaves you heaps of room in the engine bay, uh, which means it's so much easier to work on and so much easier to maintain and clean as opposed to having the larger 3 litre V6 under the hood. And people that I've spoken to who've had the V6 uh, haven't been a fan because it is just a little bit too hard to work on with being such a tight fit under the hood.